Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 28 of Less FIFA 14 and in the last episode we did get quite a few points in Division 1 and scored quite a few nice goals and we are going to try and continue that run in this episode and for the first game we come up against a 4-5-1 Spanish squad and we do not get the best start here. We are able to clear the goal kick away but he picks it up straight away and Soldado runs past my keeper and makes it 1-0 so not exactly what I was looking for because well if I lost this game as I mentioned in the last episode another loss would result in me having to win all my final games so I didn't like conceding that early on into the game and after that I put a lot of pressure on him got a shot in off from the kickoff we find Mike on here from the corner take the shot and look at that save from Diego Lopez in the net and he simply had an amazing game in the net here we go past two defenders but cannot get a proper shot in he saves it we get another shot and he saves it once again he just Every single shot I had, he were able to save. Then in the 14th minute, we break through. We cannot hit the target this time around. The 17th minute, it's Muriel on the ball. We try to get a shot in. This time around, he blocks off my shot, but Quadrado picks it up. We cross it in, and we get somewhat of a simple goal, but I really had to get it back into this game. I was all over him, but he just saved every single thing. So in the end, I went with the cross, and we get another chance here. Nice pass and move play from the team, but once again, denied the goal from Diego Lopez, and from the corner we hit the bar and that was just the picture of the game I couldn't get that goal uh, but then in the 31st minute we break through with growing a few nice skill moves we take the shot and finally get another shot past Diego Lopez in the net to make it 2-1 and straight after that he decided to rage quit and when you look at the balance of play he only had that one shot in the beginning of the game and apart from that I was able to get a 13 shot, 7 on target in the first 30 minutes of the game. So yeah, I think I deserved the win and in the end he did decide to rate squid. So after that, we picked up a bunch of contracts there because we're running a little bit low on those. So we apply one there to Quadrado and we head on into another game with a 4-1-2-1-2 squad. And we come up against a very solid Serie A side. Ibarbo and Balotelli on the top, Pace on the wings uh, with um, Biabiani and El Shaway. But uh, we get our first chance uh, from a free kick. Grow in here, he chips it over the wall. I wanted to get a bicycle kick in, but it was a header and a nice save from his keeper. From the corner, we pick the ball up uh, with uh, with Moreno here. Try to shot, but it is saved by his keeper once again. And another chance, a Quadrado, lovely little skill run here. Trying out this shot, but could not get it on target. And instead, it's him breaking through with Balotelli. I get the tackle in, uh, pick it up there, but a terrible touch. He picks it up, he'll cross it into a completely open Balotelli and make it 1-0 and at half time it was very very even we both had five shots and three on target so yeah very even game there at half time and into the second half we played a few minutes i pick it up with Gwerin and he will shoot it across goal to make it 1-1 get me the equalizer but just three minutes later it changed player by itself when I was running backwards to try and cover the through ball and that meant I couldn't get in front and block Balotelli off and he made it 2-1 um, but straight after that I would get a goal back as well to make it 2 to get me an equalizer and then 89th minute, 90th minute, a fake shot past the slide tackle, we find Suniga, ball will drag back to get in position for the shot and guess who shows up, it's Muriel on the rebound to make it 3-2 and he could just kick it off and the game was over. It was such a lucky win, not gonna deny, and it was pretty much getting the me getting the lock back from the last run in the division because, as you remember, I gave up some unlucky goals in that one, uh, in the last run, and this time around, I had my luck to get the late goal, get the win, and win a 3-2 in a very even game. That could have gone both ways, to be honest, but it meant we're sitting on 21 points, we have two games left and it's looking really really good in the division. Uh, we, we can afford to slip up in our next game and still have a chance, uh, an extra game to try and pick up the title. So yeah, we head on into the next game, we continue with the Colombian side, uh, Serie A side and come up against a quite similar team to the one we faced before. Once again, uh, we have some of the same players in Biabiani, Ibarbo and so on. And uh, we get our first chance here with Quadrado, but he blocks off my shot in the 15th minute and just a few minutes later it's Muriel on the ball, lovely little skill run, plays a 1-2 with Martinez, gets it back, takes the shot and we get the rebound. Unfortunately we couldn't get the goal straight away with Muriel, that had been a really nice goal but still we get the 1-0 lead and at half time we were sitting on most of the chances even though there weren't really that many in the game. We get another chance into the second half but his keeper gets in the way and then it's Quirin to go past the defender, take the shot but a lovely save from his keeper. 
and it was really tough bringing him him down and getting that goal but then we get a chip in here and once again he clears it away and no goal that time around Muriel trying to get a shot in but again a last moment tackle to deny me a proper shot in on goal and then 87th minute we're on the ball Michael here on the ball going back and forth and not quite sure what to do so we decide to pass it back to Cordado who crosses it in we get a header in and we pick it up with Suniga try the volley but it goes over the goal and then finally in the end of the game we hit the post and then 19th minute it's Muriel breaking through here down the wing goes with a fake shot cuts inside once again another fake shot and we try a shot and we get the rebound and finally get the goal to secure us the win and we win the game at 2-0 and that means we finally pick up the division 1 title it's been a bit of a tough run getting here we had a, a few problems in division 3 and we had a few problems in our last run in division 1 but apart from that we have been able to kind of pick up the titles throughout the divisions and uh, I decided to go and look a little bit on the season history we played a uh, a bunch of games, 65 of the games won, 17 of the games we uh, we have drawn, and 14 of the games we lost. So I guess that's an alright ratio. We scored a total of 240 goals, and that's 2.5 goals an average a match. So that's quite nice actually, and we conceded 1.22 goals a match. And when you look at it, the pass accuracy have been alright, and the possession have almost been a 50-50. And along the way, we picked up a title in every single division, and as I said... We struggled a little bit in Division 3 where we, I believe, where we didn't pick up the promotion at all. It was a lot of draws and losses and we had to go into it once again and we picked up the title straight away and then we had the last run in Division 1 where everything kind of went bad in the end where I believe, yeah, a loss, a draw and a loss and we completely lost the title there. But this time around, despite getting a bit of a bad start and we lost our second game in this run in Division, we were able to just win all of our remaining games, pick up the title and that pretty much ends off the first season uh, of Let's FIFA 14 on the PlayStation 4. We are going to start up a new season soon enough. The final thing I want to show here is the stats of the players, which you'll see here. And yeah, we're going to start up a new season, and it's going to be based on some rules I... Um, uh, implement into the series so it means we'll be able to get coins somewhat faster and be able to pick up some of the more expensive uh, skill skillful players on the game and try and build some of the more expensive squads I know a lot of you guys would like to see me play with so that is something that will be in the start of the new um, of the new season of Let's Fever 14 and we might pick up a major signing from the start as well and I think we'll sell on most players we have in the squads here but as you can see here's all the stats from all the players as I said and uh, Moreno he didn't really stand out that much as in form. As you can see, only one goal in 11 games, three assists. And the thing I'll say, Moreno is not really a, what do you call it, play-to-win player in some way. Uh, for me, he's more of a fun player to play with, trying to skill moves, score cool goals, and that is where I think he's a great player. But, like, look at Muriel, 20 games, 21 goals and five assists. And when you look at Jackson Martinez stats in a second as well, you'll see he scored a bunch of goals as well in his games. 35 goals in 41 games and nine assists, where... Uh, Moreno just doesn't look that great with his stats and that's because he's more of a skill and have fun player I'd say and you can probably pick up better options if you want some players um, to kind of to kind of get you the goals you need in the divisions but yeah Magidi here three games uh, one goal and three assists Reva decent job Ronaldinho who was our first player in the club uh, our, our first key signing I guess 50 games for the club he scored a 20 goals, 22 assists, and scored quite a few nice goals along the way. And uh, yeah, I'm happy uh, he he was able to stay in, in a squad throughout the entire series. That was kind of what I wanted. And uh, yeah, we're almost coming to an end here um, uh, with all the players. We've got a few more players. Kona here, three games, four goals. Did a good job here towards the end of Division 1. And Mariano did a decent job in the defense. And Janssen, again, a decent defender. Gundogan. Three games, he managed to get an assist uh, here in Division 1. And Handanovic, probably the best keeper we had throughout the series. 45 games, and he saved me quite a few times. Despite you maybe not seeing all the saves he made, he's been a very solid keeper for me. And uh, Maicon, again, a bunch of games to his name. Uh, was very solid in the defense. He's big and strong, I feel. And yeah, quite fast. Benasha, again, a solid center back there. Have been playing solid. And the same thing goes for Zapata. And that is pretty much all for the videos, guys. And this first season of Let's FIFA 14 on the PlayStation 4. I hope you did enjoy it. And we'll start it up soon enough again. And that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later.